welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather, and today I'm here to share with all of you 10 amazing fall style hacks. So these are things I do on a regular basis, honestly, even on a daily basis during the fall and winter, and I think they will definitely elevate all of your looks this season. So make sure you stick around and listen to this entire video because the last tip is definitely my favorite tip and one that I've been doing for years and honestly swear by. If you would please hit that little subscribe button, I would truly appreciate it. I do publish new videos every single week and I started my channel roughly two years ago to help women just like you look and feel like the best versions of themselves because I believe no matter what your age, you do deserve to look and feel confident. Everything I'm talking about will be linked down below in my description box as well as sizing information. Also, if there is ever anything on the expensive side, I will always be linking a steel version as well because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. Okay, fall style hack number one is to update your puffer jacket. So puffer jackets are definitely on trend for this fall and winter, but honestly, they are a classic jacket that have been around for a long time. But sort of maybe if you wanted to ditch your classic puffer jacket, maybe not ditch it, maybe just put it in the back of your closet and save it for another day. But if updating your puffer jacket is a way to actually still look stylish while wearing a puffer jacket. So this amazing sage green puffer is from Nordstrom. I just shot this yesterday. You guys, I'm obsessed. It reminds me of like an Alexander McQueen puffer, but instead of being like a thousand dollars, it's under $200. So it's such a steal because trust me when I say it looks way more expensive than it really is. Honestly, because of the fashion forward silhouette, so it's got this really cool puffy collar. It's a bit on the shorter side. The sleeves are a bit oversized, so you can layer, you know, all of your your chunky fabulous sweaters underneath it if you live somewhere really cold but since I live in Dallas Texas I just did a simple long sleeve cashmere blend t-shirt so I was honestly on the hunt for a long sleeve black t-shirt and this one is my absolute favorite it's by Anza Costa which they have the absolute best basics. They're all very soft, very high quality, and this will be a long sleeve t-shirt I will literally wear underneath all of my jackets this fall and winter, so I know I will definitely get my cost per wear. And then I did these amazing gray jeans. These are by Silver Lake. They're a high-waisted modern skinny. They're called the Beatnik. Because they're so high-waisted, they do a great job of sort of elongating your frame and making you look taller and slimmer. Okay, style hack number two is to seasonize your accessories. So if it's in fall and winter, obviously you wanna pick accessories that look more fall and winterish. And what better accessory to do that than this fabulous faux fur handbag by Marc Jacobs. Ladies, how cool is this handbag? This exact handbag has literally been seen all over Instagram, even on some celebrities, because it is that cool. I loved this faux fur version. A lot of handbag makers are actually coming out with faux fur versions or like shearling, faux shearling versions of handbags. I think it's a great way to just really bring fall and winter into your look. It's easy, it's just a pop of you know, this winterized accessory, again, the faux shearling handbag. So I love this handbag, it's cross body. It is big enough to where you could fit your wallet, your car keys and a lipstick in there. And honestly, what else do you need? It does have two zippers in it. So, you know, it's big enough to carry during the day, but then it's certainly small enough to look very stylish at night. And what I paired it with is this easy V-neck um, knit sweater from Nordstrom under $100. Again, I love the V-neck. I'm a big um, believer in adding a V-neck to your outfits versus like a crew neck or a turtleneck, although I do have on a turtleneck right now. I'm not saying don't wear turtlenecks. I'm just saying if you do want to elongate the top portion of your body and make yourself look taller and slimmer, wearing a V-neck as opposed to a crew neck is always a good idea. But again, this knit is very soft. It's very affordable under $100. And I love the sort of bigger sleeves as well. Very stylish, very fabulous. And then I just went with an all black look. So I did my 
um, favorite faded black jeans. These are by Redone. They're called the 90s High Waisted Ankle Jeans. So they do have an ankle length. I am five foot four for reference. And then I went with my under $100 shoots mules. So don't think you can't wear open toe shoes in the fall and winter. If it was really cold out, of course, I would probably have worn boots. But since this day in Dallas, it was like 70 degrees, I still look fall and winterish even though I have on some open toe heels. So keep that style tip in mind as well. Okay, style hack number three is to tuck in your sweater. So I think that people think like, oh, if I'm wearing a big chunky sweater, like I can't tuck it in, but that is not true. What you can do is tuck the front portion of your sweater in. Basically, it's called the half tuck, meaning you only tuck the front portion of your sweater in, you leave the back portion untucked. What this does is it creates shape. It's gonna make you look slimmer because it's gonna show off your waist. Even if you don't love your waist, even if maybe you have a little bit of extra weight around there, if you do the half tuck and blouse over the sweater, you're going to create a waist, like I said, and I promise you, you will look taller and you will look slimmer. So this is a fabulous, cozy, under $100 sweater by Aster, the label from Nordstrom. I absolutely love this beautiful rust color. In in fact, Rust is one of my favorite shades to wear in the fall and winter. And then I paired it back with these fabulous Spanx faux leather joggers. You guys, I have tried on tons of faux leather joggers and these are hands down the absolute best. You might ask why? Well, it's because all the other joggers that I tried on are like way too baggy, way too big, and simply not flattering. But these, because they're cut a little bit slimmer than your typical jogger, these are actually very slimming and very flattering, not to mention they're incredibly comfortable. So these would travel really well as well. So I love this outfit. I just paired it with a fabulous open toe leopard heel. I love adding a bit of animal print to any look. I think it just elevates it by really adding a bit of interest to that look. Okay, fall style hack number four is to add a hat. So whether that is a baseball hat or just like a fun fedora, I think adding a hat can always elevate any look, especially in the fall and winter. And what we're really seeing now that's really trending hard is like a really cool baseball cap with like a fun blazer or a, a faux shearling jacket or something like that. So don't think that you can't wear a baseball hat when you're dressed up a little bit because that's really like the new thing. So this is an amazing Balenciaga hat. I purchased this a couple weeks ago and I love it. I've already worn it a ton. If you don't wanna spend that much on a hat, I totally get it. Rack and Bone makes one for like $85. And then on the Abercrombie and Fitch website, there's also another fabulous black hat. It's just a simple black baseball hat that's like 25 bucks. So either way, I think adding a black baseball hat to your looks this fall and winter is guaranteed to take them to the next level. I paired this hat with this fabulous faux fur jacket from Revolve. I think this jacket has like one size left. So I will link another ivory faux fur jacket from Express that I'm obsessed with. I actually ordered it yesterday and it will be in soon. I'll be doing a video featuring that jacket soon, so stay tuned for that. But you could certainly add that jacket or if you already have a faux shearling or faux fur ivory jacket, you could just top it over an all black ensemble like I did here. I kept on the long sleeve cashmere blend tee that I'm so in love with. And then I did the same Spanx faux leather joggers, proving their versatility and wearability. Okay, the next style hack is to cuff your jeans when you are wearing ankle boots because if you've had this problem, let me know. Leave me a comment down below because I always love hearing from you guys. But sometimes when you're wearing ankle boots and you have denim on, like the denim bunches up, it just sort of creates this annoying style conundrum. So cuffing your jeans is a great way to combat this issue. So as you can see, I have on these fabulous ivory, Chelsea boots. These were one of my top 10 sellers this month on SoHeather.com. So these are fabulous. Why? Because they're absolutely beautiful. They're budget friendly and they're extremely comfortable because of the chunky wearable heel. So love these boots. They do come in four different colors, including black in case you don't want to go with the ivory shade. As you can see, I cuffed these amazing straight leg jeans by A Gold E. They're called the Fen Jean. I love these jeans. They're comfortable. They're vintage inspired 
inspired. And although they are a straight leg, they do taper towards the bottom of the leg, making you look taller and slimmer. And then I did this amazing cut out Good American bodysuit topped with this fabulous camel bomber jacket by Veronica Beard. So this is a great fall look, very casual, but also very chic and stylish. Okay, the next style hack is if you have a pair of jeans, maybe an older pair of denim, that you're willing to cut off yourself, I would highly recommend just cutting off the jeans, leaving the raw hem, and trying on the ankle boots that you're gonna wear the jeans with so that you can cut them off exactly where you want them to hit. So I personally don't like any skin showing between my ankle boot and my jeans. That's just me. I think it really breaks up your leg if you do that. So I cut these Veronica Beard jeans off a little bit longer so that I could roll them up and then show the ankle part of these fabulous sock booties by Veronica Beard. So I think that really elongated my leg versus if I would have left the jeans long and not cuffed them, I don't think my legs would have looked as long. So again, I love these pointy toe Veronica Beard booties. They're amazing, they come in several colors. And although they are a stiletto heel, they're very pretty comfortable. I would say the heel height's around four inches, so I wouldn't wear these like all day or anything, but I could probably wear them half a day and certainly to dinner. And then I did a, just a very simple black hoodie and I topped it with my go-to Veronica Beard scuba blazer that I swear by. It's one of my top 10 fall staples. I did a video on that recently, so I will be sure and link it down below. But I've had this blazer for like four years. I still wear it a ton. And it can look like a different blazer because you can zip in and out these fabulous dickies. As you can see in this jacket, I have on the amazing leather dickie to add some edge to this Veronica Beard scuba jacket. Okay, style hack number eight is to wear fall colors. So when it gets to be fall, like September, October, and maybe it's not cold yet, but you still wanna look fallish, you don't have to wear a bunch of sweaters and jackets. You can just choose a simple top or a simple pair of pants that are a fall color, such as rust, such as olive green, such as gray or black or chocolate brown. Like I'm really loving chocolate brown right now. So whenever you're ready to sort of start dressing for the season, always introduce those beautiful fall colors into your wardrobe because that will definitely make your looks, you know, appear more fallish and winterish. So this is an amazing look. I love this. And although I did do ivory on the bottom, I did choose a very beautiful fall color on the top. So this is an amazing shirt jacket by Good American. By the way, shirt jackets are trending really hard right now too. I love this gorgeous brown color. As I said, I'm really into all shades of brown right now. They're trending really hard. This shirt jacket is so cozy. It's so soft. It's so comfy. Like Literally, I'm obsessed with this shirt jacket. Then I paired it over this sexy bodysuit by Good American. It's the same shade of brown, so I think it created a really beautiful pair of these two brown shades together. It's got this really cool sexy neckline with the little dip right down there, so love this bodysuit. It looks amazing alone, but it also looked fabulous layered underneath this cozy shirt jacket. And then I did these ivory modern skinny jeans by Silver Lake. They're very high-waisted, so they're gonna make your legs look longer and make you look taller and slimmer. And because they're a modern skinny jean, they did a great job of fitting into these beautiful ivory knee-high boots. These boots have a very low heel, like maybe two inches. So very comfortable, very wearable, and because they have a pointy toe, they're also gonna make you look taller and slimmer. And that brings me to the next style hack, and that is when you're wearing boots, I would opt for a pointy toe. Why? Because a pointy toe is going to elongate your legs. It's going to make you look taller and slimmer, as I have mentioned several times prior in this video. So I always love, if I have a choice of wearing a round toe boot or a pointy toe boot, or if I have a choice of buying a round toe boot or a pointy toe boot, I will always, always, always choose the pointy toe. Really, any shoe is gonna always look more flattering if it has a pointy toe. So these are my favorite boots of the season. I did a full boot edit 
uh, recently on YouTube, so I will link that one down below. But these are another one of my top sellers on SoHeather.com this month. They're amazing. These beautiful camel slouch boots are by Vince Camuto. And as you can see, they do have a pointy toe, so they do a great job of elongating your legs, making you look taller and slimmer. And they won't break the bank. They're very budget friendly since they are by Vince Camuto. I did wear them with these amazing jeans by Silver Lake. They are the beatnik, the same uh, silhouette as those ivory jeans, but these are done in a faded black version with some really cool camel stitching. And then I did this really sexy um, strapless bodysuit from Express, and I topped it with this cozy chocolate brown uh, cardigan by Vince. I love this cardigan, you guys. It's real cashmere. It's luxurious. It's soft. And again, I really love this chocolate brown shade for fall and winter. Now, if this one is out of your budget, no worries. I did find a very similar chocolate brown cardigan on the Nordstrom website that's under $100. It literally looks like almost identical and I will be sure and link it down below as well. Okay, style hack number nine is to wear a cutout top so that you can still look tastefully sexy even in the fall and winter months. And even better is to layer a fun jacket over that. So this is the cutout top I'm wearing right now. It is long sleeve, so I can certainly wear it in the fall and winter. It's also a fall color, this beautiful chocolate brown shade. And I love the sexy cutouts. So don't think that when you go out at night in the fall and winter, you have to wear like big oversized sweaters. You don't have to look frumpy. You don't have to look like not stylish. You can still look stylish in the fall and winter by choosing a really cool cutout top. So I love this bodysuit. It is from Revolve. It's a very reasonable price. And again, I'm a big fan of bodysuits because they stay tucked in. You don't have to worry about them bunching up or coming untucked. I layered it underneath this beautiful faux fur jacket by Free People. You guys, I love this faux fur jacket. It's like a moto jacket style, but it's faux fur. So I've never seen a jacket like this. I think it's super cool. It's perfectly oversized. It looks great with denim, but I think it would also look really cool worn over like some yoga clothes if you wanted to wear it to yoga class and just look like extremely stylish. I think this jacket is very versatile. Absolutely love it. In fact, it's on my um, gifts for her list. I um, did all the gift guides on my blog underneath the holiday shop so be sure and check that out as well and then I did my gray jeans these are by um, Silver Lake I love these jeans because they're very flattering they're a high-waisted modern skinny jean I think I had them on earlier in one of those amazing looks. and then I did the amazing Isabel Morant booties I love these booties because modern skinny jeans do a great job of fitting inside these ankle boots I've had these for I think a year and a half now, but they still are available on the Intermix website. They're very comfortable too because of the cone heel. So, you know, I think the cone heel is like two and a half, three inches. So again, these black booties are very comfortable and very wearable. And then I added a snake print belt to sort of marry the chocolate brown, the ivory and the gray tones all together. I always love adding, like I said earlier, one thing, whether that's a pair of shoes or a handbag or a belt, that's animal print because it always just adds a bit of interest to any look. Okay, the final style hack and my favorite fall and winter style hack is to add a faux fur jacket to any of your looks. I just think adding a faux fur jacket is an instant way to look more stylish, to look more chic, to look more polished, look more put together, but you're going to be warm and cozy in the fall and winter months. However, you're still going to look incredibly chic. So if I'm being honest, I probably own way too many faux fur jackets, but in my defense, I do wear them a ton in the fall and winter time. So in this look, I'm actually wearing two things that are faux fur. So the first thing would be this fabulous ivory faux fur jacket. This is by Michael Kors, and I actually bought this jacket like three years ago at Neiman Marcus. It's obviously sold out, but I will link some similar ivory faux fur jackets that I love. I think adding a faux fur jacket, again, like I said, to any fall and winter look is just a great way to be warm, but still look incredibly stylish. And then I paired this faux fur jacket over this amazing 
amazing under $100 beige bodysuit. This is from Nordstrom. Great price point, great neutral color. I love this square neckline, very flattering. It is long sleeve, so this is another great top that you can wear in the evenings on a date night or a girls' night out. And then these are some amazing vegan leather pants by A Gold E. They're a high-waisted straight leg. They're called the 90s pinch waist. They do come in black as well. These are amazing. I love wearing ivory in the fall and winter months because it is a bit unexpected. So these pants, again, they're high-waisted, and because they're high-waisted, they're gonna do a great job of making you look taller and slimmer. And then these are some splurge heels I just got by YSL. You guys, I'm obsessed. They are mink, and I apologize if you are someone who doesn't wear fur or doesn't believe in wearing fur, please don't hate me. I just literally fell in love with these heels when I saw them. They're beautiful, they're very classy, they're very elegant. I thought they looked amazing with these faux leather pants, but they would also pair well with a dress and of course with denim. So those were the 10 fall style hacks. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite style hack was because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. You guys have a beautiful day and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.